Ed Bacon was a city planning head, executive director. He reported to a board of directors, and in fact, the university's uh, Dean Perkins was the chairman of that board. But Ed Bacon could propose ideas and develop ideas, but they were only ideas. And in order to get these ideas across, he had to sell ideas. And that's all he had. He didn't have taxing power. He didn't have the authority of a mayor to say, I'm going to do this or that, or the city council. All he could do was propose ideas. And he used wonderful new concepts to propose ideas, big renderings, models like we talked about before. He used films. He used the latest techniques to show what these ideas were. So you have a development coming as an idea with all of this interconnection, a very important uh, word for uh, Bacon's ideas, interconnections and connections. We would have high rise and low rise. The concept for high rise uh, building in the city was Le Corbusier from France where you cleared away a whole area of a city, you plunked down a high rise in a green space, and you had high rises in the city all over with nothing in between. And Bacon said that would be awful for the experience of the human who would be occupying those high rises. And so he said, we'll put down some new high rises in a green area, but we'll connect it to the rest of the city and we'll integrate that connection by first having a high rise and then some new low rise around it and then connect those new low rises to the existing city fabric. A wonderful, wonderful experience when you walk from the pay towers, which are the high rises, back into the city.